A while back, I designed the Universal Kydex sheath extension as a means to allow a variety of user customizable carrying uh, injection molded as well as Kydex knife sheaths. I've recently updated this design into a single layer, eighth inch thick Kydex. Incorporates the angle adjustable design. It has a large variety of holes in the top to accommodate more attachment accessories. When you order a Universal Kydex Extension 2.0, these are the pieces that you will receive. This is the Kydex Extension itself with appropriate mounting screws as well as some uh, silicon spacers uh, to help with attachment and security, a leather belt loop, an 8 inch piece of paracord for dangler carry if you so desire, an AB3 belt clip size large with attachment screws that can be removed and used with the leather belt loop for hard mounting or you can use them also with a tech lock or a G clip or whatever other accessory you desire as well as this small kydex bridge piece and a small kydex washer with another attachment piece for using on sheaths that have holes spaced one and a half inches on center. The Universal Kydex Extension 2.0 consists in these parts. Included is the Kydex Extension itself, which is made for either right hand or left hand carry. You have to specify which when you contact me. And it comes with the screws and pillars needed. You may notice that one screw is longer than the other. One is a half inch screw. The other is a little bit shorter. The longer one is intended for the top corner. The shorter one is uh, intended for the lower part to follow the angle adjustment, but it can also be moved onto the kydex bridge when needed in order to adapt your sheath to a sheath that requires uh, one and a half inch spacing. This is the kydex bridge. The kydex washer is useful for that adaptation as well as useful for sheaths that have slots for connection. This prevents the screw head from damaging the kydex slot and I'll demonstrate that shortly. And it comes with its own screw and pillar. This is an Army Plastic AB3 belt clip that will be included along with mounting hardware. Usually I send them with the hardware already mounted into the clip but you can remove those and use them with your leather belt loop which will be included or with some other accessory like a G-clip or a tech lock or whatever you desire. I also include an 8 inch piece of paracord for dangler carry. Also, I do have available brown leather belt loops. If you prefer that to black, just let me know when you place your order. So how do I mount my Kydex extension to my sheath? Well, here is a uh, basic survival knife that's in a Kydex sheath. I think this sheath was made by Aswelki. You'll notice that there are holes along either the spine side of the sheath or along the edge side. The Kydex extension is meant to be mounted along the edge side of the sheath, which is why I need you to specify right-handed or left-handed. You'll notice that this sheath actually has holes properly spaced for attachment at, at uh, three quarters of an inch on center. Uh, you just have to make it so that the elbow of the attachment is below where the knife widens in order to accommodate the handle. The knife sheath widens to accommodate the handle. So you can see that. Your extension comes with pillars that are placed in these holes, one in the corner, and then depending on how you want to carry it, the other one down below. The two rubber spacers hold these screws in place, or these uh, pillars in place, on your extension. Like that. And like that. Now you may not need to use the rubber spacers at all, but they do help with ensuring the proper angle of attachment when you mount your Universal Codex extension. You see, it goes just like that. Now, you have two screws for attachment here. One is slightly longer than the other. The longer screw is the one that goes in the top hole of your extension piece. So it mounts through this hole. Hopefully you guys can see this and it's not too dark. And you'll want a screwdriver to tighten that down securely. And then the other one, you choose what angle 
you want your extension to be at. If you want it to be at a slight angle or not, you just adjust it where you want it. You can even move it into one of these other holes if you want it to be at like a 45 degree angle or even a horizontal connection. All you need to do is move this into another spot, let this rotate around. You then take it, your second screw, the slightly shorter one, and mount it into that second hole. And this one you want to make sure to tighten it down securely in order to uh, morph the shape of the rubber spacer such that it really holds tight between the two plastics and can keep your angle nice and secure. And that's all there is to it. Now in order to demonstrate what I meant about getting the proper angle adjustment for your sheath, here's another knife that if you'll notice when you set them, if you line up the holes on those sheaths, the second knife kind of hangs at a f different angle, the handle does. If I mounted my extension on this knife to be straight vertical, it's going to be off-center from the handle a bit. But that's not a big deal. Because of the angle adjustment capability of the Universal Codex extension, all I have to do is just shift it slightly. See, I can rotate it back and forth, whichever spot I want it to, and I can just line it up directly with the handle so that when it's holding it vertically, the handle and the extension overlap each other very nicely. But what if your stock sheath doesn't have holes cut at three quarters of an inch on center? What if, like this ESC6, the holes are placed at one and a half inch on center? That's standard spacing for large tech locks. The large tech lock has holes, the, the far holes along the top, for the far ones from each other are spaced at one and a half inch on center. The in-between are at three quarter of an inch on center. That's not going to be a problem. You don't need to drill a hole in your sheath anymore in order to accommodate the Kydex extension. Instead, using this small Kydex bridge piece, as well as this small Kydex washer, you're able to mount the Universal Kydex extension right onto your sheath without drilling any holes. How does that work? Let me demonstrate. So here's your Universal Kydex extension with the rubber washers in place on the pillars. This lower hole is not going to accommodate the bridge because it's only three quarters of an inch on center. So you remove the pillar and washer from that hole. You take your Kydex extension bridge and the rubber washer that came off of that lower hole and you put those together along with this set of small screw and pillar that are going to be included along with your extension piece. The small pillar fits up through the center hole of your bridge. And the rubber washer goes over the top of it, holds it in place. You can then place that against your Kydex extension. This will be your angle adjustment hole still, so you'll still be able to adjust the angle of lay of your extension against your sheath. You take the screw that came with it and put that through that smaller, that lower hole into the center of the bridge. You don't need to tighten it down right away, but once you find out the angle of lay that you want, then you can tighten it down to make sure you secure your angle of lay. See, so I can have it there or there, however I want it. The pillar that you removed from this lower hole will go with the washer. The washer can either be on the far side of the sheath or on the inside of the sheath. And it's just meant to be there to, as a shim to make proper spacing for the second pillar. You then mount that to your sheath. I'm going to do it on the opposite side since I already have one on here. But you can then see that the extension will sit right on your sheath like that.
But then you just adjust your angle of lay, whether you want it slightly angled or just in line with the handle. And that is how this one is attached on this side, so you can see. This will work on any sheath, really, that has spacing at one and a half inch on center. So whether it be uh, a stock sheath from ESC or from Becker or from Cold Steel or from Tops or a custom sheath from Mashed Cat or from By Brown Industries or from Aswelki or from uh, Kyodex or from a variety of other makers or producers of sheaths. These will work on Gerber sheaths. They'll work on Cold Steel. I think I already mentioned that. So it's meant to be as universal as possible, as well as as user customizable as possible, allowing for the user to use whatever accessory attachment he wants to carry it at a higher ride or a mid ride or a low ride or a dangler carry at whatever angle he wants, whether it be a cross draw 45 degree angle or uh, straight up and down or even horizontal scout carry on the back. The variety of options are innumerable. This is a Swamp Rat Rodent 9. It works just fine on a sheath this size as well. It's very strong. It doesn't have a whole lot of flex to it, so it keeps your knife from bowing out from your side while carrying it, from bouncing around. The Survive Knives GSO 10. Again, I can mount the Kydex extension on here. Here I have it mounted at an angle so that I can carry it uh, cross draw at a 45 degree angle at my side. To show how it carries, here is that Swamp Rat Rodent 9 strapped to my side. I'm carrying this one dangler style, as you can see with the belt loop and the cord straight through it. The cord just wraps on through those holes, knits through, and then you can also get a leg strap to keep it from flopping around, but it carries nice and low. Here's my front pocket, my jeans pocket. Your hand wraps right around to the handle and allows you to draw straight up. Puts it right back in, your hand's right back at your pocket again. See? Perfectly comfortable with the leg strap included. You'll be able to adjust your leg and move around so that you can uh, travel in and out of your car without it catching on things or bonking on things. Keeps the weight in a very manageable position. If this ride is too high for you, if you're a taller guy than I am, all it takes is a little bit longer cord to drop this uh, dangler carry down a little bit further on your leg. Or if you're a little shorter than I am, all it takes is a tightening of the cord to raise it up a little bit higher on your leg. If you don't like it to be dangling like this, by replacing this cord with a couple of screws that are included, you can have it hard mounted to your side like this. You can also have it hard mounted to the lower set of holes so that it's even a little bit higher on your side. Or you can switch the belt loop for the AB3 belt clip. You can switch it for a tech lock. You can switch it for any accessory that you prefer in order to increase the uh, convenience of carry. Here's that Ratman Dew sheath. I have this one mounted with the AB3 belt clip so you can see how it attaches. Just like the Spyderco G clip, just clips right onto the side of your belt and it's in place. Just like that. You can have it concealed underneath your coat if necessary or if desired, keep it from catching on branches. And then you want to remove it, it just slips right off. It's strong, secure, convenient. Now what if you want your knife to be easy on as well as in a dangler? Does the Kydex sheath extension allow for a dangler option with a tech lock? Well yeah, of course it does. The tech lock has holes drilled in it all by itself that it serves as its own platform for the cord to fit through. And so all you have to do is instead of lacing the cord through the leather belt loop or through your AB3 clip, you can lace it through a tech lock. And there you go, a dangler style uh, tech lock carry with the same easy on and off that the tech lock always provides. Here's that ESC6 with a tech lock hard mounted. A tech lock with its variety of holes allows you to mount it at a variety of heights. This is a nice low height. But you can also mount it in these holes so that it goes up a little higher or a little higher. And it still has that same convenience of clipping on to your belt. Just like that. Here's the UKE with the leather belt loop hard mounted to it. Of a hybrid of Kydex and leather so that it's more comfortable, especially if you're wearing it underneath a pack. And again, just slides right onto your belt. If you want to carry your knife cross draw at an angle like that, 
by using the angle adjustability of the Universal Kydex extension and its ability to attach to whatever accessory you want for belt carry or whatnot. It's just a simple matter of mounting it however you feel comfortable mounting it at a given time, on a given day, whether your conditions change or your circumstances change, if you need to carry something on your right side instead, all of a sudden when you're used to carrying this on that side, all you have to do is just a couple quick adjustments of the screws, mount it into a new spot, and it hangs nice, convenient, and out of the way. On sheaths like Sur come from Survive knives that have these slots that can accommodate uh, the Universal Kydex extension, though if you tighten the screws down too much, you can actually damage the Kydex around the slots. That's another one of the purposes of the Kydex washer that will come with your extension set. By placing it uh, between the sheath and the screw head, even though these are truss head screws, but by using the washer in place of that, it relieves the stress on the Kydex slot itself so that you won't have that kind of damage ever again. It's designed to fit every model of every size. You don't have to send in your knife in order to get a custom fitted uh, extension piece to your sheath. You just buy this extension and it should work on your sheath. If it doesn't for some reason, let me know. We'll work out a way to uh, accommodate your needs. I'm always looking for ways to make it work better and for more people. If you've been frustrated by a sheath that rides too high with the attachments given or just doesn't seem to accommodate what you need, there's no need to send in for a custom made sheath. You don't have to spend the 40 or 50 dollars for a custom made sheath anymore. All you need is one of these extensions that can mount to your existing sheath. If you like that sheath, except for just some aspects of it, you should try this and see if this uh, adaption can change your uh, discomfort and make your carry experience more fulfilling. As I mentioned, each order of a Ky Universal Kydex extension kit will come with the Kydex piece itself with the mounting hardware it needs, the leather belt loop, you can choose black or brown, a little bit of cord for dangler carry if need be, an AB3 belt clip for a convenient clip-on attachment and the Kydex bridge piece to accommodate sheaths uh, that have holes spaced at one and a half inches on center. I also have available for those who need them leg straps that are made of three feet of lightweight polypropylene. These come with a quick release, you know, uh, side release buckle, plastic buckle that has a length adjuster on it so that you can loop your belt loop through to the length that you need it to be to fit your leg whether you're skinny or large and it has an adjustable slider on it as well to take up the extra nylon or uh, extra polypropylene so that you don't have to worry about having a piece dangling out to get caught on branches or thorns as you're tromping through the woods or for your dog to grab or something like that. If you have any questions or comments about the Universal Kydex sheath extension, my contact information should be in the details attached to this video. You can also find me on Blade Forums. My user handle there is chiral.gralam, that's C-H-I-R-A-L dot G-R-O-L-I-M, chiral.gralam on Blade Forums. Uh, and get in touch with me. We'll see what we can uh, hook you up with. Thanks for watching.